Red Sox. John Chomby, Chris Singleton with you. Well, Singy, when you consider the top hitters ballparks in the sport, this has got to be one of them. I'll say this. Pitchers have to stay with their game. They can't look over their shoulder and think, I have to be fine and perfect on every pitch. Continue to pitch to your strengths, and you'll come out of here with a good outing. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about set to go now. Our starting pitcher in this one, Chase Anderson. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with Leading when it seems like up. there's more pressure, the he's baby. more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball what? comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. And he'll won. Fouled off. He was late. That's and that's ball. off that's inside. the inside edge. And the count is one and two. That one two missed. Two. Swing and a miss and a change up in the dirt. Beats him for the first out, and that completes the strikeout. Brokey just ran out of patience there. He took a couple of pitches to even that count off the two balls and two strikes, but that time chased outside the zone. Here's Mike Tockman. Hit on the ground to the right side. And he handles it himself for the out. Third. Time now for the Chicago Cubs lineup. Someone who makes things happen for them in part with his legs, Pete Crow Armstrong. Well, so far slugging over 600, and he really attributes that to the work he gets done in the cage pregame. He's got a unique set of drills that he swears by, and we're seeing the success of it so far. Ian Happ up to hit. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. Makes the play, and that's out number three. Nothing happening there for the Cubs. And now the Red Sox get their turn. No score. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Back in Boston, and on the mound in this one, Javier Assad. What do you have on him, Singy? Well, he's been a real quality starter for his club. And coming into this one, what stands out for me is that right-handed hitters have really struggled batting below 200 on the year. It seems that they have a hard time picking up his Leading release off. point and we'll tracking the ball off. into the zone. So we'll, we'll see down. how right-handers do against yeah, him in this one. Ready to go for the last yeah, half of the inning. And stepping in for Boston, Jaron Duran. And he deals. Close no, one that, doesn't the get the call. Ball one. Duran one measures out. six feet two inches, 27 years old, and he was drafted in the seventh round back in 2018. And oh. another ball. Wouldn't That's chase that time. Well, I would expect in this 3 0 count, you're taking all the way. See if they'll walk you. There's a strike. Three one. And he walked Ball him. Four. Take your bait. Now this is a story we were paying attention to before the game. We've seen him give up walks in the past, and it's an issue once again early on. Man aboard, and here is Devers Assad, keeping him close. Yeah, and here's a fun stat on Devers. He's at his best when he's hitting homers and doubles. And by the time he was 26 years old, Devers already had over 150 home runs and more than 200 doubles. He's just the 15th player in baseball history with those kinds of numbers at that age.
fights it off you'll see another on the ground right side into the outfield base hit throw into third and the throws off line safe at third just one of those seen no high base hits it. through the infield. Oh. Just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. Here's the left fielder, Rob Ref Snyder. Right yeah. through there for a strike. And a pitch. Great spot to be in right here for the pitcher. You can either strike this guy out or get a ground ball double play. The pitch. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. And the pitch. In the air out to center. Crow Armstrong should have it. Brings it in. Runner tags for third. The throw is up the line. He's safe. On the board first. It's one zip. Sometimes all you got to do is your job and don't overcomplicate things. Keep it simple. Runner third, less than two outs. Got it. Cool. The ball in play and a nice job with the sack fly. So up next, will your Abreu. This is outside, and that is ball one. And a pitch. Swinging a foul over the screen and back out of play. Next offering is down low, and it's two and one. There's a strike. That one is blasted. Left field towards the monster. And it bangs off the monster. Devers headed home. Relay throw home. Safe. Everything came together for him. Put a pretty good swing on that one as he drove it out to deep left. Didn't quite have the right combination of launch angle and exit velocity to get it over the fence, but you're never going to be disappointed with extra bases. And it's second with one away. Pablo Reyes stands in. Just the off ball. the outside, outside edge. And that's ball one. Runner at second here, one gone. Fought off foul. Runner breaks for third. One, two now. Good eye nope. right there. Ball. It's a good take. Two and two. Swings and misses at the breaking ball in the dirt. Gets to it on to first. Got him. Two gone after the strikeout. Perfectly executed 12-6 ball right there. And with that kind of break, if you can drop it in below the zone like that, it's going to look like a strike the entire way coming in and then just disappear. So hard to get under the ball unless you're really gearing up for it and you might need a pitching way. Here's Bobby Dahlbeck. That one finds the zone. Going one.
And the right hander deals. That one ripped, but foul. Abreu on its second with two down. To third. Fires over to first. That ends the inning, and they limit the damage. They put two on the board with a couple of hits, no errors, and one left. Onto the second from Fenway Park. It's the Red Sox two and the Cubs nothing. Back inside Fenway Park, all set for the start the of the inning. Racing. And here's the first Michael baseman, Michael Bush. Bush. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Right. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Well, we call that key holding. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to no. swing that oh. early in the count. Time to check on our umpires. Earl Hendricks calling balls and strikes. Yeah, well-liked umpire, Boog. Pretty consistent with his zone, so if you're familiar with him and how he works, you won't get too surprised by anything. Sometimes he'll give a little bit off the corner, but nothing too crazy at all. Yeah, a foul ball. What about an umpire's height? How much of a role does that play in your experience and what the strike zone is like? Yeah, I think it pushes the strike zone up a little bit, which, you know, as a former hitter, you like that. You wanted the ball up. You didn't want to have to deal with stuff down in the zone consistently. Dansby Swanson stands in. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. Here's a rocket out to left. Nabs it, and there's two down. Man, that's one of those at-bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there. Nothing to show for it, but in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at-bat. Nick Madrigal in the box with two gone and takes a look at a called strike. That yeah. one's in there and it's 0 2. Right hander kicks deals. Swing and a miss and he struck him out. And the Cubs go 1-2-3. Cubs are down quietly. They trail it here 2-0. Bottom of the second. And stepping in is the speedy David Hamilton. Hamilton. The wind of the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Kicks and deals. Late with the swing there. Definitely not a pitch location you're expecting up there as a hitter when you know the guy's got a good sinker ball. If you can get in that no, location, boy, you've got to look top to bottom, and that's going to make it very difficult to hit. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. The pitch. Bows it back with two strikes. Off the That's mark the there. And the count's even at two. Definitely a swing and miss slider down and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer at it. Out to short, Swanson. In plenty of time to first. Leadoff man retired here in the second. Batting Batting the catcher. Catcher. Reese. Reese. McGuire. Here's Reese McGuire. Go back to Chicago. That yeah. one finds the zone. That's strike one. Left hand batter waits. That one, one ball, way outside. Strikes. Ball one. Oh, 
Line drive. And it stays fair. Batting nice ball. line drive to the third base side. Base. Met it out front, Today. but just stayed through it nice oh, enough oh, and oh. ripped it into the outfield. Here's the rookie third baseman, Sedane Rafaela. Foul ball there. McGuire leads off first with one away. That pitch yeah. in for a strike. And a count is 0-2. Oh, just a cement mixer slider right there. It's a great pitch to hit if you can recognize it early and jump on it. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Boom. He was shopping at the buckle right there the way that slider made him walk. That was just nasty. Now batting Jaron Duran. The walk and a run scored his first time. Feels like it's less common today that you see a guy like this. The speed component, the contact component, but lack of power. And there's a foul ball. He just has to understand that his skill set is unique and he's very valuable for any ball club. If he does that, he'll play a long time in this league. Slings to first. That's the third out. Inning over. One hit, one left. We play two full. It's the Red Sox two and the Cubs nothing. the third inning leading off Miguel Amaya Miguel Amaya the right hander back to work misses just off the outside edge I think that was a strike that's hard hit on the line Ref Snyder makes the play and there's one down Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder Pete Crow Armstrong. Good power, not great in the OBP department. And that's a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Right there, does a great job of staying in the big part of the field. Man, there are a lot of hits there. Now it's Alexander Canario. Oh. In the dirt, blocked. One -oh. He's in there. Yeah. And now a man into scoring position. Can't imagine he's too happy with that one on the mound. Just one pitch after giving up the single, he basically turns it into a double. Man at second. On the ground to third. Over to Dahlbeck. Two down. So the batting order turns over. Here's Nico Horner. He's over one. Right through there for a strike. Oh one. Next pitch inside, and it's one and one. The Cubbies down by a pair. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. And that gets down into the gap. Rolls to second. Not in time. He's safe. They pick up a run, and now it's a one-run game. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Got a good pitch to drive, stayed short with his bat path to the ball and caught it out front, and he stayed long in his follow-through. That's how you split the gap, and that's pretty much a double every time. So two down. So up now for Chicago, Mike Tockman. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. Yeah, big swing and a miss. Going one. And that That's one is inside. Ball. 
Here's his jump. Two outs. And another ball. Two, two. Just missed. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three hole hitter coming up if he's walked. And that's ball that's four. Ball four. Take your base. Now that Ian Hat yeah. now at the plate. He popped out his first time. And fouled off. Deal one. That one is absolutely belted. And it one hops the wall. One runs in, coming home. He will score, and they take the lead. Three to two. Gets the job done as he brings home a pair. Put a pretty good jolt into that one. Great swing, nice balance, and weight transfer. And he got it to drop in out there in the deep part of the field. So, runner at second, two down. Michael Bush, the next Cub to hit. First pitch, and he just misses. And the strategy of winning a ball game, when you can make that pitcher work a little more, expose himself by throwing pitches, that could be the key to winning perhaps later on. So good job of extending this inning, getting a knock with two outs to bring the number four hole hitter up. Next ball. offering upstairs. Well, no need to go right at this guy. First base is open. He can hurt you. So make him expand his zone. If he doesn't, give him a walk. Sliced hard, but foul down the left side. Anderson ready to work. Still two and two after the foul ball. Man on second, two down. Got him. Inning over, and it could have been worse. But three score in the inning. Two of them on this two-run double. It's now a 3-2 ball game. Back here in Boston, set for the bottom of the Boston. third, Devers now. Assad, Devers. back to work. And yeah. that's in there at the knees. You know, these Red Sox did a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm oh. seeing very patient at bats out of them. They're doing a good job of working the pitch count, and they've been able to push a couple of runs across to score as well. And a foul ball left side. Still relatively early, but with a pair of runs already on the board, the ripple effect of that high pitch count might set him up. Ah, that hit him. And the leadoff man is aboard to start the inning. I oh, like his intent there to be aggressive with the slider and make sure he got it inside, but he just yanked it across his body. A little too much horizontal rotation with the upper body instead of north-south. Ref Snyder in the box now. Take strike oh, one. Good approach right there. You want to get something just a little higher that you can elevate. Stay out of that double play. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. One away. You hear people talk about letting the ball travel so often in terms of a hitting approach, and that's a great example of why right there. If he's willing to let that curveball get a little deeper into the zone before he commits, he's way more likely to recognize that it's making a beeline for the dirt. On the other side, still a nice two-strike pitch, though. Now here is Willier Abreu. Wouldn't chase that time. Home team down a run here in the last half of the third. 
And it's even up. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the heading zone, hard to get the barrel to it. That Ooh. catches the corner. here as he fouls it away. And here it comes. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there's two down. Stood absolutely no chance on that slider right now, there. Man, I don't know that, but that's a tough one. I mean, pretty much a perfect strikeout pitch. I mean, it looks like a fastball middle in. Kind of has cutter action, and it just bunches you up to where you can't get your hands through and the barrel to it. And not much you can do unless you recognize the spin early and you spit on it. Here comes the 0-1. And a one curve one. misses outside. Devers leads off first with two down to the inning. That Ball, misses the up. zone and a count two and one. Swing and a miss. Chased it out of the zone. Well, when those hitters count sometimes can be a little too aggressive and a good pitcher will play off of that. He's got to get a better pitch to hit. Base knock right field. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Up, 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 up. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Bobby Dahlbeck up next for the Red Sox. First time up, he grounded to third. Right field down the line, and that one slices foul. And a pitch. Right through there for a strike. First and second, two down. In the dirt, but kept close. Throw, oh, see, and both runners move up on the wild pitch. Gonna have to buckle down and make a pitch or two to get out of this little jam he's worked himself into after the two-out hit. Then that wild pitch. Good time to step off, take a deep breath. is building. About to see the 11th pitch of the at-bat here. That's a great at-bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. 
Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. A lot of pitches and ends up drawing the wall. Very gritty. Two outs. Bases full. David Hamilton up next for the Red Sox. In there, and it's all in one. Tough situation right here. So important as a pitcher to get ahead in the count as he did right there. Bases loaded. Two down. Kicks and fires. Popped up left side. He's hit. One run is in. Now a second crosses the plate. It's 4-3. Well, a big swing of the bat right there. Totally tied up with that inside pitch. Got to it late and deep in the zone, but he got the bat on plane enough to fight it off the other way. Here's the catcher, Reese McGuire. One for one with a single so far. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And the righty deals. That misses That's the inside. zone. That's the ball. And it's 2 0. Oh. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. There's a strike, and it's two and one. Two outs. Two balls, Couple one of base runners at first and second. Bounce to the right side. In time to Bush, and that'll keep more runs from coming in, inning over. But two runs for him, and they jump ahead. Three innings complete. The Red Sox four, and the Cubs three. Here at Fenway Park, and now Dansby Swanson. Swanson goes six foot one, 30 years old now, a former first round pick back in 2015. That one finds the zone, one one. Well, the offense has gotten going, and a pitcher wants to go out there and have a real quick inning, get those guys back into the dugout so those bats can stay hot. That's outside, oh, that's outside. one and one. The one one is fouled off. Yeah. And a swing and a miss. One out. Toughest pitch to hit. Fastball on the outer black. Man, sometimes you just gotta tip your cap. Here's Nick Madrigal. Base knock center field. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. First pitch swing in, went up there with a plan to be aggressive. There are a lot of nicknames people have attached to hits like that. Bloomer, Flair, Duck Snort, Lawn Dart, etc. But whatever you want to call it, it's a knock. And those are the ones that will make you smile as a hitter just about every time. One ball, no strikes. In the dirt, and the runner holds. And that's no, downstairs that and outside. Last two pitches have been down in the zone. Pitcher clearly trying to get that ground ball double play. But in this count, you're going to have to give in. Elevate his pitches and get back into this at bat. Now oh, three outside. and zero. Oh. Yeah. That clips the corner. Three one. Three one, and he couldn't come up with it. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted him first base now with a quick ball. free pass. So one out with two aboard. Pete Crow Armstrong, the next Cub to hit. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. 
A little bit low. low. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. And that's, no, that's off inside. the inside edge. And now 2-0. Two on, one out. And that's in for a strike. In today's game, not that many fastball counts, but hitters still in the back of their minds, they're looking for one. 2 0 changeup call right there. Excellent pitch selection to go with. At the belt and fires. Out to short, Hamilton. The throw is wild and it gets away. And they won't get him, and he goes first to third in the error. I thought that was a great chance to turn two with the 6-4-3 right there, but the feed to second, maybe the most important part of starting that double play, just didn't get it right right there. And these players work on it a lot during batting practice, and that feed's not on point. Very difficult for the second baseman to make the turn. So two in scoring position with one out. Ball. Alexander Canario, the next to hit. And that one fouled off. One one now. And that one fouled off. One run across in the frame so far. Top half of inning number four. And oh. another ball. In this situation, he's trying to get you to pop something up or jam you. It's a really good take knowing you've got an opportunity to drive in a run here. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. In time for the second out. Good job to clean it up after the drop third strike. Well, they get a big strike out there. And that was a nice job behind the plate to complete the out at first while keeping those runners at second and third. That could have turned out way worse for the defense. Nico Horner, the next cup to hit. Fall off foul. Two on, two outs. Hey. That one pitches the zone. Oh, a two down. And that one, skips two. in the dirt. Righty delivers. Popped up. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that's the third out. One run in the inning, but they leave two. On now to the bottom of the fourth, and we are tied 4-4. Four -four. Welcome back, and they turn to a new arm as we kick off the bottom of the fourth. Number 43. Still pretty early in the ball game, so this bullpen has some work ahead of them. Best case scenario might be if he can come in here and get several quick outs, kind of bridge the gap that starter left for him. Leading off. So Four digging in, Sedane Rafaela. He's all for one. Today. The lefty right. fires. That one, one misses, and, and it's one to know. The Cubs bullpen with some action. Keegan Thompson up and throwing for manager Craig Council. Tied at four. To the left side, but it is well foul. The wind of the pitch. To the right. Fly ball down the line. Tockman on the move. Makes the catch for the out. Center field, number 16. Jaron Duran up next for the Red Sox. Chris, his skill set straight out of the mid 80s. Good contact, not much power, and he can run. He always uses the wheels to his advantage. 
His biggest challenge in this day and age is to not get caught up in trying to hit home runs because so many people are. And it falls to second, oh, but way right. too late, safe there. Well, those kind of lucky soft hits will always make you smile. He clearly didn't catch that one on the big part of the bat, just kind of muscled it out there. And you know, on the mound, it can be pretty frustrating for a pitcher, but you just kind of have to expect those to drop in there sometimes. Rafael Devers up to hit. Inside move to second. Hey. And a strike to Devers. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit's probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Durant, the runner at second with one away. Swings and pulls a foul to the right side. Look out. That ball is smoked. Man, I am so relieved that they have this netting down the lines. Just ensure safety for the fans. Last thing as a player you want to look up and see one a fan get hit. Not close with that one. It's a ball and two strikes. 0-2 pitch that far out of the zone gives the hitter a little confidence that maybe he can climb back into this at bat. Man at second. Bounced up the middle. Swanson tosses He's the up. first. And Devers is set down. Not a bad outcome in that spot. Oh, the runner moves up to third, and now they have a chance to drive in the go-ahead run. It's not a knock, but at the end of the day, it's a good at bat. Rob Ref Snyder digs in now. Ah. Swing and a miss. It's 0 and 1. Well, a come and get me fastball right there. He didn't look ready for the velocity. I think it'd be a mistake to throw him anything off speed right here. And that one is lifted in the air. Makes the grab. And that is the third out of the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, and a man left. We played four, and we are tied 4-4. Four -four. Back here at Fenway, top five, John Shelby with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, Mike Tockman. pitch swings and lines a base hit into left field man aboard on the leadoff single the bat number eight designated hit and now the DH in half one for two fouled off he was late Go ahead, run it first. Nobody out. And we're at the top of the fifth. Way inside, gets out of the way. Straighten him up a little bit. Tied at four. Got a good eye there. Going to lay off that pitch down. Run around the goal. Slap the other way, foul. Now a pop up on the infield. He's under it. He's got it. One away. Michael Bush will hit next. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning ending double play. That one misses. And that's ball one. Man at first one away. Next pitch is downstairs. 2 0. Just missed. 
three and oh. Hey, now three and one. Three balls, one strike. Here comes a the pitch. There's the strike. Full count. Stays alive. Riding to the plate. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Ninth pitch of the at bat due next. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. And a pitch. On the ground, right side. Devers has the runner for one. What a double play that was. Inning over to the bottom of the fifth. Halfway home. All even at four. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom of the inning. And a batter down. Will here of Brave. The pitch. And he drops it down the third baseline. And he grabs it. Foul. The line to kick the pitch. This one ripped, but foul to the right. Great swing and solid contact. Just a little too quick. He's got to stay back a little longer. Goes down looking. Now it's the, the DH, for Pablo Reyes. Pablo Reyes. Close, no, but missed. called That's the ball. The ball. One and oh. is empty up the middle corner two up two down now back first base Bobby Dolbeck still stepping in for Boston Bobby Dolbeck right yeah. through there for a strike Two down, nobody on. Last half of inning number five. And a strike in there. All right, now, he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. Red Sox go down one, two, three. Score remains tied at four. A new pitcher in the game, Zach Kelly. He's making his second appearance of the season. And now the shortstop, Dansby Swanson. The shortstop, Dansby Swanson. The pitch. Fires in a fastball at 95. Oh, and Boston's what? bullpen with some activity. Josh Winkowski up and loosening in the pen. Number 63 warming up as well. Tied at four. Just that's missed. That's the ball. Just no, that missed. missed. That's the ball. And the pitch. Five, two. Two and two. And, 
And that, that just miss. misses. Really good take, especially with two count. strikes. Swing and a drive, deep right field. Abreu ranging back. That one is gone. He'll circle the bases, and the Cubs have the lead now. It's 5-4. He ran the count full and saved his best swing for last. That was a battle, and he won. When you see a guy take a slider on the outside part of the plate and hit an opposite field home run, fires you up because not only is he flexing the muscles to show the pop, that kind of approach, you'll hit for a high average as well. Madrigal yeah. in the box again, takes a strike. Throw in one. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. Nobody on, nobody out, and we're at the top half of the sixth. And the no, slider ball. just misses. All sliders so far in this at bat to get ahead in the count, and it clearly shows there was a game plan in mind for how to attack him in the box. And that's a base hit. Just kind of slice that one into center. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. And now it's Miguel Amaya. And that one upstairs. Magical. The board here at first with nobody out. Ground ball up the middle. Finds its way through base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Back to back singles. Just kept it simple. Played pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. Next for the Cubs, Pete Crow Armstrong. That right. one's in there, 0 and 1. No outs, runners at first and second. High fly ball near the pole. That one is power. That misses. Going to count one and two. O2 two fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him off. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. Maybe a two ball. Five, four, After that. three. And they turn the double play. That was a much needed double play right there. It gives him a really good shot at minimizing any further damage in this inning. the left fielder Alexander Canario and a pop-up right side foul territory sizes this one up pulls it down and he makes the catch and that is that one scores in the inning coming on this solo home run and the home team down a run you're dialed into the show Back here in Boston, where well, we go bottom six at the play. David Hamilton. As the lefty gets to work. Strike one. You know this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. In for a strike, and it's 0-2. Activity in the bullpen. Yancy Almonte preparing to come on if needed. Oh. 
That one not two. close. One and two to count. The shortstop oh. takes the ball. They try to get him to go. Chase the pitch down and away, but he wouldn't bite. And there's a ball. Reese McGuire waits on deck. Swing and he popped it up. Bush under it. Puts it away for the out. Well, that was a pitch you got to crush. No, no, no. Unbelievable that he the missed it right it. there. And I'm telling you, he is going to be frustrated with himself oh, until his next at bat. Reese McGuire now at the plate. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate. Try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. That yeah. clips a corner. One out, base is empty. Swing and a foul straight back. 0 oh and 2 now. Swung on, looped into center. Falls it in for the out. That swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. Stepping in, Sidane Rafaela. get there it's a foul ball the Cubs leading by a run here in the bottom of the sixth that misses oh. and the count even one and one and a pitch and down on strikes and it's a 1-2-3 inning. Nothing doing for Boston. They trail it 5-4. And so the Red Sox go to the bullpen. Number 63. Just trying to keep this one close here. And this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Nico Horner getting ready to hit one for three. Chris, baseball today, so many strikeouts, and they are available to pitchers. But this is a guy that puts the bat on the ball and is kind of different from the players that we see day in, day out. The wind and the pitch. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Rafaela drifts towards it, and out number one on the grab. Mike Tockman, the next Cub to hit. Swing and a miss. That strike oh, one. Kelly just threw that fastball by him, elevated, and if you're not looking up at that location, nope. very oh. difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. Bases empty one away. Here in the top half of inning number seven. Swing and a foul straight back. Hey. Misses. It's a strikeout. Well, kind of a weird pitch and a weird swing on that strikeout. It's just a slider that caught a lot of the plate. I'd say a very hittable location. But in the box, I think he just gave up on it way too early. And by the time he realized it was dropping into the zone, he just fires off a really poor swing. Now a chance for Ian Hat. Swing and this one's bounced to the ground. Over to Dalbeck. And the Cubs go one, two, three. No runs, no hits, no errors. Seventh inning stretch time. It's the Cubs five and the Red Sox four. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Keegan Thompson. He's been so good against lefties. Back to the top of the lineup. Here's the center fielder, Jaron Duran. 
It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. That one finds the zone. Strike one. Now a drag bunt, third base side. Bare hand has to hurry. And very nicely done for the out. Oh, that was pretty right there. Beautiful play with the bare hand. And it's Rafael Devers in the box. The outfield shifted pretty heavily towards right field. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Looking to get the tying run on base. That's the ball. That misses the zone, and the count one is ball, one and one. One down, base is empty. And a swing and a miss. And now two gone. That was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Rob Ref Snyder up next for the Red Sox. Come back into the mound. To first, inning over. So they go quietly there. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Cubs five and the Red Sox four. Back here at Fenway Park, ready to begin the eighth. And now the first baseman, Michael Bush. The pitch. There's the strike. Swings through the fastball up in the zone. Okay. Right-handed reliever. There's a swing and a drive. That's bad. Can't get there, and now maybe extra bases. Now around second, going for third. And he's got a leadoff triple. He was all over that one. That could be a dangerous pitch if you don't get it inside enough because... As a hitter, you see it coming across the plate the whole way. No problem handling it and putting a good swing on it that time. The bat. So up next, Dansby Swanson. He had a big swing back in the sixth. The solo shot that figures into this game in a pretty big way right now. Yeah, that was a big swing of the bat, and he's going to be looking for more, trying to add on to this lead right here. seats another homer his second home run of the game it's seven four he only needed one swing to square it up not wasting any time in that at bat boog aggressive and it paid off love to see a hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an at bat you watch him from the on deck circle so when you step in the box you're ready to pull the trigger wherever it's at really good job by the hitter total conviction on that swing and up next for Chicago Nick Madrigal there's a strike can be tough to bounce back after a big home run but nobody on nobody out you just have to treat it as a fresh inning And that's no, outside. That's and that is ball one. Straight. And a ground ball to first. And he takes it himself for the out. The catcher, catch number nine, Miguel Amaya. Now the Cubs catcher, Miguel Amaya. Fastball for a strike. Going one. 
two runs across in the inning and we're in the top of the eighth. Ball oh. one there. Wide the kick of the one two and a foul ball he stays alive one down base is empty line drive base hit right field and now the center fielder Pete Crow Armstrong They say you win. No ball, one strike. Next Hit. offering is in for a strike. Don't play situation here. He's been working up in the zone. Typically, you look for guys to get that ground ball, see if he adjusts on this next pitch. Switch through that one. It's a strikeout. Just blown away in that at bat. Three fastballs, all strikes. He wasn't even able to foul one off. There's not much you can take away from an at bat like that as a hitter, other than maybe there's something wrong with your eyes. Got to have better timing on the fastball next time. Canario oh. in the box now as he leaves that one up high. And a good Outside. eye there. Oh. Amaya off of first with two away. Just oh. missed. 3 0. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. Yeah. And there's the automatic. Strike two. Three two, two out, runner on okay. first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. And here it comes. That one out to right. Abreu on his way over. Makes the catch. And that'll do it. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two run homer. It's now 7 4. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Colton Brewer. He's pitching on two days rest. And now the right Leading fielder, Willier Abreu. The Red the right Sox field. in striking oh, distance, yeah. but have some work to do. Oh, Boog, it starts with the leadoff, man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. The wind of the pitch. Yeah. That one finds the zone. One one. Movement in the bullpen. Adbert Alzala appears to be getting loose. The 0 1. Right two. Well, that's really the money spot. Down and away. If you can locate that consistently, it's going to be real tough for hitters to square that up. That's what you love to see relievers do coming out of that bullpen. He goes down looking. Well, he's going to have some thinking to do when he leaves the ballpark yeah, after this one. That was his third strikeout, yeah, and this one looking, obviously, so he's been a little overmatched. He's got to find a way just to be more competitive up there at the plate. Well, it's critical right here that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats, try to chip away at that lead, because if it gets to the ninth, that closer's coming in. That's the ball. That's a little bit low. Base is empty, one away. Here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. That one the other way. He makes the catch, and there's two down. It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting a line drive that finds a goal, but you will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. And now, Bobby Dahlbeck. 
And that's, that's the ball. The inside edge. And that's ball one. Just no, missed. missed. Two outs, bases empty. To the right side, corner. Whips it to first. Red Sox go one, two, three. Nothing doing for Boston. And they're on the wrong end of a 7 4 score. We're back. It's the top of the ninth. And there's a new pitcher on the mound, Josh Winkowski. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. Back to the leadoff Maybe spot in the Cubs lineup. Here's the Cubs leadoff man, Nico Horner, a former first round pick, and he's really turned into a nice everyday player. Here comes a pitch. In there at the knees. It's all one. Well, they say it's the best pitch in baseball. Strike one. You get ahead. Oh, a good hitter as well. He's a little bit more confidence to move to the at bat. And he deals. Swings through that one for strike two. Oh, well, you got the hitter already chasing that nasty slider. If you're on the mound, you just want to expand the zone right now. Get a swing and miss and get through this Ball, at bat. Outside. Next pitch misses. Now one and two. And the righty deals. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. That one pushed to the left and foul. Next pitch is inside. Ball one. There's the strike. 95 of that one. Next pitch is outside. One down, base is empty. Right side. Devers gets it to first. Two up, two down. The bat at number eight. Hit, hit, hit. Ian. And here's the DH for the Cubs. Ian Happ, the Happ Daddy. Pitch misses, that's and that's ball one. Two down, nobody on. Here at the top of the ninth. And that oh. one almost got him. Hey, that pitch gets the inside corner. Now two balls and a strike. Two down, nobody on. On a bounce right side. The throw to first. And that is that. Nothing across here this half. Bottom part of the order. 7 8 9. Two up in inning number nine. It's the Cubs seven and the Red Sox four. Welcome back. And here comes the closer, Adbert Alzala. He pitched yesterday, and we'll see him once again. And the batter will be the shortstop, David Hamilton. Outfield playing pretty shallow. David Hamilton. And a pitch. There's a strike. A 
But a shortstop oh. takes the ball. Right-hander kicks, deals, and a foul ball. So that was awesome. He's two outs away. And next for the Red Sox, Reese McGuire. Swings through one. that one. 0 oh and 1. It's 0 oh and 1. The Cubbies leading by three here in the last half of inning number nine. And that ball missed, one. The ball. Nasty backdoor slider. There's really nothing one you one. can do with that if you swing at it. So it's a good take by him. That's yeah. in there. And it's one and two. And that's ball. in the dirt. Swing and a miss struck him out. Now batting. Third base. So it's their last chance in this one. Sidane Rafaela up next for the Red Sox. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a flyout. First offering and it just misses. The Red Sox trailing by three. We're in the last half of the ninth inning. This to center field, and that is the ball game. Nice work out of the bullpen for that first MLB win, boo. They turned to him when they didn't have the lead. He kept things steady, and he's rewarded with the W. This one finishes with a final of 7-4. to four. The Cubs go home a winner for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us. Here now is the final line for